Hello there, internet, and welcome to Grime. Key for this game was provided by the developers who I actually applied to for uh, for a little bit of an early look at the game. I'm actually probably going to end up uh, grabbing a copy of it for myself anyway to support the devs because I believe that good games should be supported. But the offer was made, so we're going to take a look at the early stages of the game. Not allowed to uh, record or play past a certain point until the uh, the actual game is released. Oops, if I actually select the window. Uh, the If you play the demo, you won't be able to carry over your saved data. You're going to have to start from the start. The devs have done this to ensure that there's no um no issues and i can't say that i blame them i'd say that's a pretty sensible idea oh there we go so this looks to be the same cinema c cinematic cinematic as the one that we've already seen I do like the, the the rather harsh lighting, which goes some way to, to really kind of showing off the, the stony textures. But who these people are? Prime. Yeah, who these uh, these rock people are is quite beyond me. I know nothing. I really, really like that transition. I think I said it in my demo playthrough as well, but I really, really like that transition. I think it's really well done. I'm assuming this is like exactly the same. Yeah, so the, the kind of pulsing heartbeat. In terms of story beats, haha, <laughs> beats. Uh, in terms of beats and hooks, you know, in order to get you interested in what is going on it certainly does a good job of setting up a mystery what is going on what who are these people why are we here why is everything made of rock it's possible that we'll get answers to some of those questions it's possible that that's just the conceit of the game and and that yes you're in a world where everything is made of rock rats <laughs> So here we have our protagonist. I don't think he's got a name. Well, I can't even say he really, can I? I don't think they have a name. Hold the left stick to move. One of the things that I'm most interested in, actually, I've spent... Well, I can't actually check now because this installed over the demo. Um... But I spent a good six hours, I think, roughly, uh, with Grimes' demo, going around, taking a look at the map, trying to find secrets and so on and so forth. Keep in mind that there were two slightly different demos. Um, for example, I know there's the secret wall there, which we can't get through yet. Um because we've got nothing to, to batter it down with. I also know there's some fairly difficult enemies in that area. So yes, we've got uh, jumping. We have got sliding or dashing. And we've got absorbing, which I really like as a mechanic. So you just tap. You don't actually need to hold it. You just tap it. Tap the right bumper to absorb. It's incredibly... Oh! forgot about that. How many times have I done this? Um, yes, you, you tap the bu button to 
absorb. I actually find it kind of natural to hold it anyway. This is our heal. Light trigger. Again, tap it for a reasonably speedy heal. At the moment, it seems to be of a significant um, amount. Sky, spurrer, breaker, agitator of being. This is our checkpoint slash bonfire. Slash save point slash level up place. This is the depths of part of the weeping cav cavity. Uh, I'm going to put some points into strength straight away. A little bit of extra damage, as and when we actually get a weapon, which we haven't yet. Surrogates. An imprinted levelum becomes your checkpoint and surrogates. Whenever you are shattered, you will reform at the last created surrogates. As you reform, so will most prey. Use their mass to develop your vessel. A shard of the womb you once inhabited. It can be used as such again. So, down here... There's an enemy... There's also a secret wall. Can't do anything with that yet. Because we've got no weapon. I actually quite like the fact... That... Absorb is our only combat option at the moment. Because it means that you actually have to... At least a little bit get used to the mechanic so each enemy that we kill get away you ugly yeah beautiful perfection ah forgive me for a moment i thought you were one of my misshapen and disgusting brethren but no, no, you are not like them at all. Your proportions are sublime. Oh, flawless one. Please, let me serve. I can be of use to you, I promise. I will. I will look for anything you can be of use to you. Yes, I will find you again. A gift worthy of your divine attention. Okay. So that is Yon. <laughs> Yon is a sycophant. Who uh, clearly, from, from what I know so far, clearly is going to uh, just show up again several times, at least in the uh, the introductory section. Uh, right, unformed fingers are worth a hundred. That was not the absorb button, was it? So as I was saying, yeah, you can, you can kill enemies, and each enemy has an entry in the prey section and the more of them you kill you can see that oh sorry the more of them that you absorb you can build up traits now that one there the, the icon to the right was bosses i've no idea what the icon in the middle is for this is our map at the moment it's very bare <laughs> Because we need to collect beacons in order to actually see where we are. Fortunately, there is one coming up reasonably soon. Let's open up down here first of all so that we can get our shortcut back. And that is some more Levelum Dust. Levelum Dust is a method of... It's, it's basically a, a homeward bone. It returns us to the last surrogates. That was introduced in the... That was far too early. Uh, that was introduced in the, the slightly more recent demo. Secret. You do get iframes when you are doing that. Now, if we kill this guy and jump up on his head, there's actually a secret thing up there, but I can't kill him yet because I've forgotten that we need to pick this up. Ah, flawless one. 
I may have found a gift worthy of you. The glorious Carvin used these stick things to more easily crush their disgusting lessers into useful materials. <laughs> so we have acquired the Maul Axe. And the Maul Axe has many uses. Not least of which. The ability to batter people. Then we can jump up there. And we get a Crimson Icor. Crimson Icor is a consumable, essentially. That was far too early, Demma. It's a consumable that we can use. That we can use for purchasing traits. Now, these sparklies are showing the way to this beautiful crystal. And this enables the map. Far too early, Demma. Plop. There we go. Now you can't absorb in the air as far as I'm aware. So, ah, this is our little tutorial for the uh, the hunt prey. So, whilst normal enemies will usually give you progress towards the absorption uh certain enemies oh shoot certain enemies you can absorb for hunt points and in fact, I'm going to use that red icor. So we've gained a hunt point, which means that we've now got two of the little red points. And each of these traits, once we've finished with them, gives you a certain passive ability that you can use. For example, if we equip the frantics, uh, this gently pulls on nearby vulnerable surfaces, revealing hidden paths. Speaking of hidden paths, this should be the armor. Yeah. Now, there is armor in the game, but it is entirely cosmetic. The skin makers saw the potential of what the cavity dead ones could have been prickly, yet no less beautiful. Perhaps another will recognize it as well. Um, it seems to be cosmetic, but... There is a bit of an implication from the text on it that it might have or influence um ow damn it I, th that's me trying to form thoughts at the same time um it might have or influence other NPCs? Factions? Characters? Don't know. I think... Ooh, I think. Nails? Yeah. Um, from what I've gathered... Nails are the most common enemy drop. Clonk. That's really sneaky enemy placement, putting him there. Yeah, more nails. So you can smash down walls like that. And this guy here... Bong. My head is all... Bong. Finger blades. 
So we've got a second weapon. Um, we can't use it. Unlike in the original demo, not the one that was released uh, a little, a few days ago, um, items do now have stats attached to them. So you can only equip them. Actually, I didn't check this. Yeah, you can't even equip them if you don't meet the stats. Which is a little bit different to how um, how Dark Souls does it. Because that often lets you equip the weapon even if you're not going to be able to use it properly. You can still put it on and see how it looks. I kind of feel like that is a missed trick with this. Because from what I've seen, the weapons are really interesting looking. Uh, there we go. So down here, we've got this blood metal shard. And that's an upgrade material. That's actually the second tier of upgrade material. And down here... Down here... We've got some nasties. Right, so you might recognize these as the enemies that we've already seen, but this time they don't give us prey points, so it's only specific enemies. I think there's another one behind the wall here as well. Yeah. Ah. Boot that up. There is a cooldown. But yeah, you want to be absorbing enemies. Because without doing so, you don't get your breath meter up. And your breath meter is what uh, heals you. There's a secret uh, floor here. And down here, we get the otherware set. And the other way set, frankly, makes us look really pink and cool. And I like it, which is why I've come back down here. Now, I also discovered that you can break this wall. But, unless I missed something, oops, unless I missed something, there's no reason for me to do so, because I couldn't find any kind of secret in the floor or anything like that. It kind of looks, however, like the space just to the left of us for something. So maybe there's uh, another way through there. But if there is, I didn't find it. Maybe I need a harder hitting weapon or something. So here we go. We've got a, a slightly cooler looking pinky purple outfit. Big fan of that, if I'm honest. And we can now head back. I'm going to put some points into resonance. Resonance... Um, help scale some of your traits. So it's it's a good one for, for kind of universal play, I'm thinking. I mean, th there's, there's not been anything like hugely major for it at this early stage of the game, but I'm assuming it will have uh, more power. Prey hunt complete.
I'm really bad at the timing with those. But I'll get better. By the end of the game, I will be a master of it. Uh, oh. Lost Vessel. Oh, that's where we died. Did we die? I don't remember dying. <laughs> Guess we died. Oh yeah, we died to that annoying little bugger, didn't we? We got shot in the head. There we go. Have that. And we'll have that. And. Oh, I need to hit that. <laughs> and yes, that, that we, we already went and explored. <laughs> Dear Lord, my memory's terrible. Uh, right, we can't get back up there. Let's kill some more of these boulder heads. Oh, dear lord, Demma. There we go. That is the boulder heads hunt complete. Now, if I remember correctly, down here... And up here. With those, you've got to press the absorb button ever so slightly later than you think. Three. Volatile. Eyes. Sorry, there's now a fly buzzing around my head. It's still quite warm here in the UK, so uh, we've got the windows open. And it's letting in the unsavories. These should be the daggers. Twin fangs. Right, let's go grab that. Some unformed... Ooh. Unformed hands. What a little bit of extra mass. I really like the red of the uh, the spikes the fact that it's quite consistent between these enemies and the the spikes that come out of the ground as well i've noticed uh, some people on the forums expressing concern and admittedly a couple of people have uh, have done the normal express massive outrage why is there stamina bar why do devs keep doing this yada 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 um, it's not a huge deal from what I've seen. You know, running out of stamina hasn't been a massive issue. I mean, it stops you just spamming your attacks, for sure. But is it massively limiting? Not particularly. He says, as he runs out of stamina. Uh, prickly Weeper hands. So that's the Prickly Weeper set. And I do wonder, as I think I've already said, there's an eye up there that follows you, which is quite creepy because it's just off the edge of the screen. Right, if I remember correctly, yeah. So you can tell if a prey is a specific hunt one. Because they have a special health bar.
if their health bar is below... Oh, there's a little animation where the hunt point goes to you as well. Um, on their health bar, if their health is below the kind of grey line on it, then you can absorb... Absorb them. If it's not, that's the way back, isn't it? Isn't it? I can't remember. I've actually got my map of this area open on the second screen, but... It's really small. <laughs> So I can't see it properly. To be fair, I shouldn't need it. Debris fields. Now, something that I have to try and do. Is use the consumable mods. So that's, that's a splinter. That's the tier one of weapon upgrade components. Oh, it's it's there. Um. Yeah. Oh, that's. Yeah, I need to use the consumables because I I was really really bad with consumable usage. I'm always really bad with consumable usage in Souls games. I, we are wrong, a mistake. My body, it shouldn't look like this. I can feel it, I know it. My thoughts, my words, they come from a dead thing. A cursed breath, life forced into unwilling dirt. And that's the first hint that there's more going on. Like, uh, are we reincarnated other beings and things have gone wrong? Are we the result of a, an ancient magic spell? Who knows? This is how I am meant to be. Give it back, or I'll break it off you. Oh, they can turn round in mid jump. So those are wretches. And they drop ardent sand. I can't get up there. Yoink. More mass. Yes, at the early stages of the game, it's like, well, how do I want to spec my character? What kind of weapons am I going to want to try or use? I still don't actually know. Can we not get up there? We can. I... I'm wondering if there's a secret or something up there that I've missed. Hello, Yon. Psst, over here, shimmering one. This wall can't be broken from your side. You can get here through a path from above. I shall do this, Yon. But first, destroy challenging prey to gain their hunt point. I forgot there was a tutorial about this. Invest hunt points into traits from inside of surrogates to unlock their power. Traits are acquired by destroying prey using absorb. Conquering challenges is at the essence of a hunt. And so are its Luci Lu Lucius. Yes, Lucius rewards. Wom. Right, so we've got can now hold left stick to walk slowly. Now, in my first demo playthrough of this, I actually ridiculed this ability. Well, no, ridicule is maybe the, the, uh, the, the, the wrong word. I thought that was a, a bit of a weird one. Um, but it turns out that it's quite useful because platforms that crumble beneath you don't crumble beneath you if you're walking. Um... That being said, I'm not going to get it yet. I'm going to get this. Now, you'll notice that some of these have got multiple tiers. And that there are... And, oh, I've forgotten to use my upgrade points. Let's go. Get that first. Um, also, had we got any other 
Yes, we had. We got that. Doesn't seem to be any way of using these from inside your inventory. Which is a bit of a shame. I would have quite liked that. There we go. Ooh, I like seeing that number go up. <clears throat> you can get a, a good chunk of levels off that. Yeah. Um. So down, 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 down here. In fact, let's stick marker mode on so I can show you the cursor. Down here, there's actually a crumbly, pl crumbly platform walkway. And at the end of it, this took me a while to discover, uh, at the end of it, there is a new weapon. It's a scythe. It's a dex slash resonance weapon. And I never actually got to try it out because I hadn't got the stats and I wasn't going to grind basic enemies to get it. Oops. Screw that up, didn't you, Dem? Kind of looks like there's a thing up there, but I don't think there is. Okay. So we're going to head down first of all to unlock the shortcuts. Oh no, it's not that way. It's that way. So it, you, you can see that enemy has got kind of a, a grey brown health bar. Those enemies cannot be absorbed. Plonk. Now. I am quite intrigued. As to why those enemies cannot be absorbed. I I'm wondering if there is an in-game kind of law reason. You get generous iframes there. So I'd, I'd really like to know if if there is kind of an in-game. Reason for why some enemies are absorbable and some aren't. I suspect there probably is. I mean, it could just be game balance. Bomb. Ow. There we go. This should be the bellows mace. Sorry, the bellow mace. Uh, can we equip the bellow mace? Yes, we can. What do we need for that? Two strength. So the, the you can see down in the bottom left-hand corner, we've got the ability to swap between weapons. The bellow mace is just slow, but it hits like a truck. And look. Also uses a hell of a lot of stamina. Sorry, force. Now, those enemies there are the reason why I picked up the uh, that kind of retaliation passive because they attack quite quickly. But if you deflect them, we can now deal damage to them th that way. Okay. So, down here. Bonk. Uh, yes. Oh, that was lucky. I, I accidentally hit the button then. Oh, he's going to push me into the spikes if I'm not careful. You can see how slow that is. Right through there. And this should be a pearl. Yes. So it looks like the 
Blanc. It looks like the uh, the, the demo um, was of a reasonably complete idiots. Uh, a reasonably complete idiots. Yes, uh, it looks like the demo was a, a reasonably complete version of this area. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. That's blocked off. I didn't think that used to be blocked off. I'm pretty certain that didn't used to be blocked off. Okay, scratch that. Either that or I'm just being a little bit forgetful, which is quite possible. But there used to be a way of getting round there, I thought. Maybe the reason it's obvious and I'm just being dense. Perish the thought, I know. We. So this is the way to the first boss, and I'm intrigued as to whether they have changed him at all. Oh. So you, ugh. you can absorb his hands. Absorb the first two, and he will come out of his shell. Oh, there's a little purple barrier here now as well. Ow. Shoots. You can actually... If you're any good... You can actually beat this guy without um, hitting him. Because you can just sort of absorb his arms every time. Which I might argue is actually good practice. Interesting. He's blocked us in. Oops. Oh dear. There we go. But yeah, if you're just a little bit patient... Oh dear. That should be the last hit, yeah. Well, I don't think great prey crushed. I don't think that was the smoothest the first time I did this. Anyway, this should unlock our first boss ability, which is Arda. Warm. Mm -mm. Arda increases the amount of mass gain from defeated foes up to 100%. Gained by crushing or absorbing prey. Lost upon taking damage. So it's a little meter that goes up and down in the corner. Which is really interesting. It's not like a take a hit and you're done. It's a... Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a meter. It's a gauge. I guess maybe we go up and over to get to that. I don't know. Anyway, I am really interested in seeing 
what is going to happen next because the demo ends fairly soon uh oh chiseled one look what i found for you in the meantime more followers to serve and bask in your perfection this one is bald ahead it doesn't say much but it, if i tell it to do something it usually does it and this one is the other bald head it doesn't say much either but look how well i painted its misshapen face I call them boulder heads because their heads kind of look like boulders. I don't think they get it, though. Eh. You must be heading to the palace. It's where all the other finely crafted rocks are, like you. There is a lift in Lithic that can take us there, all away from the broken sky. Let me come with you, and I promise to be helpful. You'll see. Right, we can't get that. So... Uh, I don't know what kind of ability we're going to get for that. It could be a shrinking ability. It could be a gravitational ability to pull things in from further away. Not a clue. Anyway, this is where Demogen gets excited because Demogen's played the game before up until this point. Now, now, we get to go out under the open sky. A brief interlude and reminder, this is an early access look. If you're playing the demo and thinking, why can't I do this next bit? That is why. That being said, Grime, the full release, is available on the 2nd of August. It's coming out on Monday, which at the time I'm recording this is all of a day and a bit in the future. So it's not going to take a very long time at all for you to get your hands on it. If this seems like the kind of guy, kind of guy, kind of game that you'd be interested in, you can pick this up for yourself on Steam or Stadia, I think it's been released on. Please note, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I don't do sponsored videos as a general rule, um, but as I said, the developers at Akapura Games did provide the key for this early look, for which I very much appreciate them. Back to the video. Look how cool this looks. Purples and pinks and... What are we doing? Oh, it's brought us into the map. oh <laughs> so yeah um the world map's quite big <laughs> Eek. one thing i've noticed is that so far we've got no fast travel i'm wondering if this nerve pass thing is our fast travel option that would be my guess. Unformed deserts. And a save point. Lost vessel. When your vessel is destroyed, you lose all ardor and the lost vessel reforms where it's shattered. Destroying the lost vessel mends the current one and returns half of your lost ardor. Ardor increases mass gain, but discard it can no longer be worn, yet there's still value in its flesh. Interesting. Okay, so this is our first surrogate in the unformed desert. Mountainsides. Let's take a look over here. Stoneborn of the Broken Sky, you will be welcomed in Lithic. It, it stopped. It never stopped before. Never. Oh no. Where did it go? I was drawn to the echoing cries above so long ago. I lost myself in the tune of its sorrow, willingly eager to drown in another's woe rather than... No. The back. The head noises. The ones only I can hear. Weeper. Where did you go? Oh. <laughs> Clunk. So we can destroy these back. Oh. Ardor increases the amount of mass. Three plus three ardor per kill. Plus two ardor per or minus two ardor on taking damage. Oh, that actually tells us the... Yeah, so they, they, they've got a little... Um, a little line on their health bar. Uh, 
Oh, there's a thing. There's also a fly buzzing around my head. Fossil fist. New weapon requires six decks. Lift vulnerable prey upwards along with yourself. Still lock formed in the shape of clenched fists. Weapon power 19. Fast. Very slow. Very fast. Can't use... Warm. Uh, looks like there's a way down there, but potentially not a way. Oh, no, there is a way back up. Whoa. Uh, plonk. <laughs> New prey found. Buzz off, fly. Um... Clawhound, bestial in form, as is the tendency in all mixed kin touched by the other's breath, can both rush and evade quickly, but with the right timing, both are meaningless. Oh! Oh! I mean... Secret find. <laughs> Ardent sand. What are these? No. Right, they glow red when they get close to us, so I'm going to... Oh, boulder plate legs. Something tells me that they're going to explode. Uh, can I? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, can't get up there. Oh, so is this where... Ah, that's where we would have dropped down from the previous way. So let's very quickly... What's this? Volatile blob. Tosses a volatile blob in front of the vessel. Oh, that, look, that looks like those, uh, those spidery things. So that's going to be our own version of it. Oops. There we go. What are you praying at? Wait, where did you... <gasps> okay then, so some of these are actually enemies in disguise. I wonder if there's a way of telling. Hmm. Right, what were you praying at? Some ardent sand. Uh, smash the floor? No, it doesn't look like. Uh. Oh. Oh, there's a. Uh, so we got up there. How? Oh, how do I get to it? Also, there's a little bit of golden thing just off to the right there. Plonk. Oh, they come back. Oh, it's 
dark down here. Alright. I've no idea where I am. Boulder plate chest. Looks like there's something above us. Oh, actually, yes, there is something above us there because we saw it, didn't we? Boulder plate hands. Okay, that's the boulder plate set collected. Yeah, we're, we're above that section that I was trying to get down to from above. It's very dark up here. Also... Oh. oh no okay we don't have iframes when we're doing that that's worth noting oh dear uh silly silly damaging it is only our ardor that we lose we're not we're not losing our currency which is good because that would be awkward right so wretches increased damage done the more ardor you have Ooh. volatile unformed interesting they've got an absorb thing as well and we need two more of those sentry wrong like breath from a cadaver like a useless silent limb barely formed a torso bound to the ground as its eternal watcher what is thrown can often be returned to its sender with force i do like the amount of light given off by those things though is that going to be a breakable oh i don't have a map where's the map good times demo oh damn it I'm not very good at this absorbing lark. Ah, so ones with a gold border don't have things that you can learn. So I don't need to worry about the sentries or those because they don't have any traits. Friendly fire's on. That's interesting. No. Prey hunt completes. What do we get for you? Restores force on well timed dashes. Interesting. Nope. Yeah, no surprise that they drop explosive things. Uh oh. Oh, this is a hunt enemy. Oh. Oh shit. Ha <laughs> ha! I absorb your eyes and throw them back at you. Because that's kind of weird. Uh, what was this thing? Eye brutes. Hunger paired with the inability to consume, their volatile breath divides to form eyes. This will inevitably leave them drained no more than a husk, at the mercy of any and all forms of absorb. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Map get. Beacon. Attuned. Okay, so we've got uh we've got some slight textures. Oops, I keep doing that. 
There's some slight texture seeming there. That's that'll be how the uh, the map's broken up in the tiles, I'm sure. So we've gone a a good breadth of the way here. And well, that was a pretty obvious. Mind you. Mind you, getting to it is going to be an interesting one. We can't... Oh, we can dash off. We can dash off ladders. No. Oh, somehow managed to survive that. We've we always been able to dash off ladders. I guess maybe we have. Oh, shoot. No. Again, you need to make sure you do some absorption so that you can get your healing juice. Ah, nothing hidden in there. Oh! Plonk. Hmm, a volatile eye. Hidden in a little nook. Uh, can't, ooh, hello. Delicious save point and a weird looking thing over to the left. Head shell. Right, we've got... Hmm, 15% for the Arda thing. Hmm, I'm going to have to get the walk slowly thing first of all. Um, let's have some more decks. Because I want to try the fists. Uh, stick it on instead of that. That's not what I wanted to do. That is. Hello! Hmm, that last quake was different. And that watcher hardly watches for anything anymore. Shidra will not be pleased. Oh, why? Hello there. Oh, world, breath, what was that? Did you... Did you see that? We nearly got crushed. Oh my, oh my, I hate this side. How could anyone get used to the sky constantly falling down? It's fine. I'm fine. Now, how can I help you? A carven, I presume? Here to collect and trade as well, no doubt. Well, I suppose I could offer you the same kind of terms that your kind would get in the world pillar. Here, have a look. Shop. Welcome again. Anything new to trade? Oh. Claw. And maul sword. Let's see. So this is a, a, a strength. In fact, this is a, um, a quality weapon, isn't it? Strength and dex. Can be used to grab and lift vulnerable prey upwards along with yourself. Either found or ripped from the limb of a large feast to average speed to on weapon power. 25 weapon power, but fast. Dexed and resonance weapon. Capable of throwing vulnerable prey forward. Causes significant poise damage to resistant prey. What seems to be the second attempt of an artisan at perfecting their arts. They're not super expensive either. Uh, 
Oh, that gives us a shortcut. Okay. Uh, punch, 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 punch. I now want to go. Nice. Fast weapons. Uh, I want to go all the way over to the left now. I want to know what's down here. Oh, it's dark. Oh, that. That is the other side of the... The shiny marker there. Yes, I thought it I thought it looked like there was something drop downable. I love the way the light kind of radiates from above. Ooh. Blood metal splinter. Oh, interesting. This doesn't count as part of the unformed deserts. What are you? Ouch! Oh, you got much health. Nope. Damn it. Okay. I think he was he was definitely beatable. But you've got a double stamina, uh, double health bar, which was interesting. Gotcha. Prey hunt complete. New prey found. What were you? Grow to gain. Repelling grants a limited time stacking damage increase. Lost upon taking damage. Fledgling year ear. In the dim quietness, the breath eventually gave birth to new beings. Lesser than those first formed in the den. The breath is finite. Its potency is fading. Soon there will be no new... No new... No, soon there will be no newborns. Yes, reading. Capable of attacking both from a distance and close up. The choice is yours on where to face them. Ardent sand. Oh, interesting. Nothing down there. Uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Ear glaive. What is? Oh, not usable. Requires six strength and six dex. 32 weapon speed, uh, 33 power, average weapon speed, spins twice, finishing with a third strong attack. What it may lack in the curved elegance of its inspiration, it compensates in sheer bulk. Okay, so we've got a boss. Well, naturally, I'm going to have to slam my head against the boss a couple of times. But that is the way I rock and roll. I feel like if I can get the timings down on this absorb, this shouldn't be a, a difficult fight at all. 
But again, I think I'm pressing the button too early. That was too early. And that was red. So you get him down to a certain point below the grey bar and you can start absorbing his attacks rather than just repelling them. So it's almost like they've got a shield, I guess. And you break away the shield and then they're exposed. Yeah. There we go. Very straightforward. And a hunt points. So that was that wasn't a boss, was it? Oh, and it was a mini boss, I suppose. Here, spear warrior. The Den was among the first to host beings of creation formed in both body and mind, capable of arts and crafts before they were consumed by a fearsome beast. Warriors are capable of adapting on the fly, changing their attacks to bait and opponents. That's a face. I do like how faces are kind of formed. In fact, faces and body parts are formed into the background. It's like the world is trying to create life, but hasn't quite figured it out just yet. Okay. Hunt point gets. Uh, I'm going to get... Kind of feel like I want to save up for the fledgling. That was not an area that we have a map for. It kind of looked like a little bonus nub, didn't it? I'm sure there was probably something down there that we uh that we missed. Okay. So we're back here. Head shell. In fact, I'm going to end this first look here because we've we've explored a chunk of a new zone. It's dark. It's pretty. It's got lots of things to find. It's got a little mini boss thing that kicked my ass. Very interested to see when we get some kind of fast travel system. That's 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 definitely got my interest. I'd really like to know um, how we're going to be able to kind of move around the world because by the look of it, you know, it's it's it's, it's chunky. There's a big chunk of world here, and getting around that is going to be oh. That's going to be a bit of a stretch, shall we say. So next time, we'll, uh, I guess we'll explore over to the right and see what is there. Until then, folks, thank you very much for watching and thanks once again to Akapara Games for the key. Very much appreciated getting a little bit of an early look at this. I will catch you all in the next video where we will uh, take a look around the desert some more. Until then, stay safe out there. Cheerio! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio!